Hey everybody, welcome back to Rocker's Kitchen. We are going to be making fettuccine alfredo tonight. I made some uh, pasta dough earlier and that is resting. There's a separate video for that. And let's get started with the sauce. For the sauce, we are going to need one ounce of butter, one ounce of flour, about two and a half cups of grated Pecorino Romano or Parmigiano Reggiano, one pint of heavy cream, salt and pepper, a whisk, and a pot. Now we're getting warm. Ooh, we got our saucepan on medium saucepan and about medium low heat. I'm gonna add my butter, let that melt, and then we're gonna add the flour. All right, our butter is melted. We bring that down to low heat, and we're gonna whisk in our flour. Gonna clump up. Just gonna stir that around. What you're doing is making a roux. That's gonna make your sauce nice and thick. So you'll have a nice thick Alfredo sauce that sticks to your pasta noodles. Now, when I was in Italy, the Alfredo was a lot thinner. They probably skipped this step traditionally, but screw tradition. Screw tradition. I like some thick sauce. So we're gonna do it. You wanna let that cook for just a little bit at a low heat, or you'll taste raw flour. You don't wanna taste that raw flour. Not too long, just a minute or so. It'll start to color. We're making a light roux. The longer you cook it, the darker it'll get, and the nuttier it'll get. And it'll have more and more flavor. We don't want a real nutty flavor for this sauce. So we're just gonna let it cook so you don't taste raw pasta. Or raw flour, sorry. That's good. Add our pint of heavy cream. Add just a little bit, stir that in. Sure, it's not a little lumpy in the end. And the rest. Right. That's it. Is it there? Squish, 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 You don't want to bite into a ball of flour. Well, we'll raise the heat on that guy to about medium high and let it come to a simmer before we have the cheese. Well, that's starting to bubble. Thickened up real nice for us. Add the cheese now. And that cheese, I grated that off of a block. You don't want to get the pre grated crap. The taste, you will lose a lot of flavor. So just buy a block and grate it yourself. It's not, it's not hard. Look at that. Oh man. Season that. Cheese is in there. Whisk it in nicely. I'm just gonna season that with salt. Not too much salt. The cheese is very salty. And some fresh ground pepper. I just ground this stuff. So it was a ton of flavor. There you go. Whisk that in. Also, if you with some fancy restaurant, they're probably not gonna put black pepper in it, so we'll ruin the white sauce, but once again, I think it tastes better. So screw the fancy restaurants. Put some pepper in there. Tastes it. Yep, nice and cheesy. Needs a little bit more salt. Mm. 
taste. And that's good. Mm. Yummy, yummy. All right. The pasta dough is just about done resting. So I'll bring you over there and we will roll out some fettuccine. Okay, so my dough is resting. I'm ready to make some fettuccine. If you want that, just go to Rocco's Kitchen on YouTube and there's a basic egg pasta dough on there. That's what this is right here. I'm gonna take this guy, wrap it, cut it into thirds. There you go. Wrap two of the pieces back up so it doesn't dry out. And you're going to come over here, the kitchen aid. Got my pasta roller attachment on there for the sheets. Make sure that's back down to one. Work that dough a little bit just to flatten it out some so it'll start going through that machine. Ugh. These first ones do a little slower. Oh, got that ready to go in there. Gonna turn that on. It's like four. Start sending it through. Hold it with the one hand. It doesn't just drop. You're gonna fold that in half. Send it back through. You want to do that at least four or five times. You get a nice, real smooth sheet. Tearing it all. Turn that speed up a little bit. What I like to do too, to get it through, I pinch the corners in a little. Because it gets as wide, it's kind of hard to get it in there. Pinch those corners in a little so it'll start feeding through real nice for you. Three. And then two more times. Four. smooth dough. So we'll start going through again. This time just once each time. Bring it to two. Send it through. We'll support it so it doesn't pull it too much. Three. Or maybe dust it with a little bit of flour. I like to, yeah, you want to keep a little extra flour in it too. Just dust it. You don't have to go crazy. Bring it to four. And we are going to stop after the next one. Take it to five. That's about as thick as I want it to be for my fettuccine. You want to lift it up and let it feed through so it's not just pulling it. Stretch that dough out too much. Look at that. Bam. Lots to go. You can kill that machine, push that back. I got a little nifty pasta rack here that we're going to use. I'm going to cut it down to the size I want and hang it while I roll out the rest of this dough. But you can get creative with that. If you don't have a drying rack, you just hang it on the back of a chair. I don't know, I've used all kinds of stuff. I've used wire racks, lifted them up on books or something, and just hung it through the wires on the 
on your resting racks and stuff like that. Just get creative. Do what you got to do. I'm just going to cut that down. Do about 10 inches. So, hang her up and just let it sit until we got it all rolled out. All right, get that done. We'll be right back. All right, pasta is sheeted up and cut. We are going to cut it into the fettuccine. I switched out my attachment, so this is the fettuccine attachment on there now. I'm gonna turn that on to like a two and just run that through. And all you want is to have a bowl of flour and a pan with flour. Flour is your friend making pasta. So what I'll do is I'll take these guys, just put them in there, move it around a little bit, dust off the extra flour. Set that onto my pan. It'll stop your pasta from sticking to each other. So I'm gonna cut the rest of this fettuccine and then we'll cook it. You got that all cut up. Now at this point you could dry it out or freeze it. But I'm gonna go ahead and cook it. I got my pasta water boiling that is nice and salted. Dropping some of this pasta. Give that a stir. It's going to take about three minutes to cook fresh pasta. I'll strain it, add it to the skin. Okay, so I got some of the Alfredo hot. The pasta's done. Dump that in there. Add just a little bit of our pasta water. And toss it up until it's coated. There we go. Look at that. Need just a little bit more water. Nice, creamy, cheesy pasta. We'll plate that up. There you have it, fettuccine Alfredo with homemade pasta. Hope you guys enjoy. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer those. See you later.